So the BMW M340i in which might just be the perfect car, not only with the looks or the interior on how it looks or the performance, but just that overall like combining everything is just prompts into a perfect car. So okay, let's start with the looks. As you can see, this one that we have right here, it has the M Sport Package Pro in which you get the blackout grill and then you get this tint on the on the headlights and then you get the blacked out wheels and then as you can see the mirrors as well is that these are the m mirrors and then another thing is we have a spoiler at the back so yeah that's basically mostly it with it and what else do we have like this car actually is a sleeper it doesn't really scream m340i you can spec and 320 to be like this so it's it's clean but okay let's cover everything actually so another thing that you can see here as the brake calipers they are the red calipers these are not standard you'd get them blue but the red one is just it looks way 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 better yeah so here's how it looks on the back and another thing that i didn't explain is the exhaust tips this is just like different from your 3 series like your 320s and 330s it's just the tips are different and the exhaust note is just too nice and yeah man with the exterior that's basically it it doesn't really have a lot that i can cover but then there's still more uh going into the interior but this is a good looking car man so yeah let's get inside i want you to listen to this and look at what this screen does look at this it has a welcome sound thingy it reminds me of the uh the 7 series actually the i7 that we reviewed and which you can check out the review of it up here somewhere um yeah so okay in the interior before we get into the infotainment system on the digital gauge cluster in which there's a lot of things going on here as the steering wheel this thing looks good and we have the m the m thing here because we have the m spot package pro and we have pedal shifters which listen to that it's not like vw's where you can't really hear them here you can hear everything and the steering wheel looks really nice it's different from the um this is the m steering wheel basically you get the same thing on the m3 it's different from the 330s if it's not the m package or the 320s is a different steering wheel and the interior look bro this is very nice it's simple very simple it's clean this infotainment system is huge as you can see and there's something that i don't really like here as these events i've been mentioning this right i don't like how they are they are horizontal in which you don't really get the full like experience of the air condition when you put them on it takes time for you to cool down if they were vertical then it it blows like more air into your body as we see vertical so yeah i'm not really big fan of these but then those ones are okay i can't really complain much and then on the door cards we still have this brush and brushed aluminium look that we get on the steering wheel it looks really clean as you can see here we have leather and then we have the the three stripe on the seat belt clean uh the stereo system hammond and cotton bro this thing really bangs okay actually i'll actually play something i'll play something in a few let's just cover everything uh and then here on the center console we have storage which has a wireless charger here and which we know how wireless chargers are they just hit up your phone they don't really work much and then we have the type a uh usb here we have two cup holders which have teeth decent size and we have the 12 volt output here clean and then here poof, there's something that i don't really like right and maybe it's just me right okay firstly i don't like this gear this gear knob thingy you don't even get it on the m3 i mean i don't know why they put it here it should be in just like the normal knob it's more interactive it's it's nicer but then here on this part i can't complain here we have the home button which is gonna bring you there and then media yeah it's basically shortcuts and then you have maps so and then the back buttons and yeah this thing you can control this the the, the the infotainment with it yeah it change it's it's just like on mazda's yeah so you control with this if you don't want to touch the screen in which you can as well it's actually fast it's really snappy you can clean okay as i've said i don't like this and i don't like these i do like what they do but i don't like like their placement right because say you are 
shifting into uh, sport, right? You're driving, you want to overtake. Though you can do the sprint, I'll show you that. You have to search for these buttons. I mean, they could have just, I mean, put something here on the steering wheel, just like Mercedes-Benz, where you can, like, shift. But then I guess you get that on the, on the M3 with the M2 and M1. But these ones are really, like... You have to search for them. And at night, it's just like, I want to overtake. I just I don't want to look at buttons. You have to search for them. Switch to Spot, switch to Echo Pro. Yeah, it's not that in interactive. It sounds like it's a nitpick, but then unless you're really driving and experiencing that, you won't really understand to that extent. But then that's what I don't really like. And we have this center storage, which, which is huge. As you can see, it's, yeah, it's clean. It's nice. There's a Type-C connector there as well. And we have two Type-Cs. At the back are uh, the back seats as well which this car is a like nice back seat actually it's it's really clean and these seats man look at these look at these seats bro bro these are the m the m seats you see the headdress right they don't really they don't have buttons here which you press to adjust this this is automatically adjusted in which you can see uh, and they have the m it's not a fully fledged m because these don't light up they do light up on the m5 m3 and everything but then the seats is just basically the same thing in which you can adjust here you can adjust here you can adjust here you can adjust this clean and you can adjust the back and the, the 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 back and forth movement, and you can adjust the the backrest as well. Clean seats, really comfortable. You can like be here for like hours, and yeah, won't really feel anything. And I feel like that's it with the interior basics. And let's get to the infotainment system. Okay, the infotainment. This is the home screen. This is what happens when you press home. You get this to these widgets, in which there's one of my actually two of my favorite features and which is the weather mm, understated but yeah it works and live vehicle live vehicle basically shows you everything that's happening with the car say i press the hazards it's gonna show the hazards say even the car is moving it's gonna show the wheels are gonna start moving when i turn the wheel let me show you actually wait let me just start the car and turn the wheels you'll see it. it's gonna turn there so it basically updates everything let me open the door see it's opening close close um so it basically updates everything that's happening even the the indicator it's indicating it's indicating such a cool such a cool feature and um back to the don't want to connect man not now so we have the app drawer here which has like bro a plethora of apps it's you have an app for everything, for anything and everything, right? So the doors and windows, exterior lighting, the displays, the climate control, the Wi-Fi connections, and the digital key, which you can use your phone instead of the car key, which is a cool thing. And you can automate habits. Say you stay in a complex, right? And you have to use your fingerprint when you get there. Instead of you opening your window every time, you can just like automate it to that specific location and it's going to automatically open when you get there. What a wow. It's nice. And say you pick up, maybe you pick up like say your wife from work. You can hide your information coming from your phone. Uh, you can set it to that specific location. When you get there, it's going to start It's gonna start hiding uh, private information, which yeah, won't appear here. Another thing that I like, let's go back to apps. All right. Um, uh personal assistant right okay wait hey bmw no it's not on hey hey bmw open my window okay i will open the driver's window bro bro it just knows where i'm sitting so there's microphones here as you can see there's a microphone here and there's a microphone there on the passenger side which yeah you can just say open my window it's gonna recognize where the voice is coming from and then it's gonna yeah do that hey bmw hey bmw close my window it's even appearing there on the heads up display all right i will close the drive bro this is nice okay let's do one last thing hey bmw Hey, sometimes in a so. Hey, BMW. 
Hey, BMW. Open the sunroof. This function, unfortunately, cannot be controlled by Exactly. It, it sometimes does, it doesn't do everything. In which I feel like it does. It should open the, the sunroof, but it, it doesn't. So, moving on, we have the maps. Huge. You can use these instead of, like, Google Maps because it really is interactive. And when you want to say you want to input your 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 what what you can just hear and then you start typing um man lane with an so you just start uh and e it appears there and then n yeah so you basically can search by doing that i've pressed the full stop there i don't know how i did that but yeah such a clean 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 everything and then you can switch off traction control here which is gonna show you there yeah so such a clean clean interior everything is like well thought out and so guys i've successfully failed on connecting um android auto but yeah here's how it sounds like listen to this but then that's gonna depend on what you're listening to with so preferably use earphones but yeah so let's actually get to the back seats let's get back there and show you how i fit in behind myself so yeah getting into the back this is not my sitting position by the way this is the way that it's said by the driver of this car which is not me so i don't really fit in perfectly but behind myself i think i'd feel imperfectly the driver is like taller than i am but you can sit like this i guess it's not comfortable and here we have type c connectors two of them and then we have the set of climate zone whatever and then this screen does switch on and then you can set it here you can set the temperature you can set it comes in through here and the legs as well so another thing is wait, is this fold it down cup holders here matt watson would love this because you can still use it as an armrest and cup holder if you want clean another thing wait is this you can see this one doesn't look the same as that one so this is when you want to just like look at the back you can do this it reminds me of the old mercedes bands which would do that when you flick them to reverse and they would fall and then you can just raise it like this this one can raise as well all of them actually can be like that Wait, let me do this one clean now it's proper headrest and you can do this if you don't really have passenger frequenting the back seat clean everything is nice it's door card permanent cordon speakers there and then we have speakers here at the back as well and um the yeah the one nickel lift type of thing the one nickel lift you just hold on to this thing and it shows you know you got passengers especially the passengers that see they they yeah they like misbehaving and we have the sound roof here as well what else haven't haven't i covered i feel like that's everything inside and yeah you get the stripes here as well in the back hmm that's it let me show you the boot the boot size so okay how you open the boot is the kick thingy that sometimes doesn't work i was doing it yesterday and was working perfectly do i have the key? yeah okay it worked yeah there's a lot of things here but the boot is yeah it's big i'll put on the size somewhere there so it's clean and to close it you just do the same thing and it's gonna beep and close it should this is the automatic tailgate by the way which is an optional extra and it's not closing okay it is i'm not that patient and yeah clean 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 so another thing as you are seeing now i'm not covering the 
performance of the car or the driving dynamics or the cost of ownership so i'm planning to do that on a different video because then this video would be longer so uh we still have some quite quite some time with the car so yeah another video is coming i'm cooking so this was basically a quick nyana review though it was not like a quick like that it was not that short but yeah another one is coming so yeah that's it with this car for now but you're gonna be seeing more of this car on this channel quite for yeah for some time i'm gonna do like different videos different style of videos driving the pov reviews everything actually you can just like give me ideas on the kind of videos that i should make and yeah it's gonna be there at your request so yeah such a perfect car man my my actually wait let me give my verdict i forgot my verdict is looking at its competition in which in which is mainly the s4 c43 in which both of them are slower not slow they are not as fast right this makes perfect sense the mercedes is way expensive the s4 is for sure less less expensive than this one but it's just not the, the it's old in the tooth it's not it, it doesn't scream modern it's yeah so when it comes to picking and advising you to pick i won't say test drive whatever just go buy the 340 man buy the 340 it already comes like uh with a good spec you don't really have to like option a lot when you get a 340 you get a lot of things standard so just go and do it once once this is a sign if you have been looking um to buy the 340 and you haven't really been convincing yourself just go into it the the engine is just bro so yeah just 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 go into it